Hey everyone, it's Adriana from Tasty Pastry Kitchen, and we're gonna go over how to make these awesome galaxy cakesicles. So these are essentially cake pops, but in popsicle form. So it offers a higher cake to candy shell ratio, which works out for all the people out there that prefer the cake more. There are lots of different types of shapes of galaxies. I decided to go with a spiral formation. I just think they're really pretty and it was really easy to do just using some paint brushes. I used a silicomart silicone mold to make these cakesicles, which offer a key advantage. They create a super smooth surface in a very precise shape when you unmold them. It is for this reason that I like to paint directly onto the surface of the mold. I've seen other methods that use this mold to shape the cake and then freeze it and then you would dip that cake into the melts. This works too, but it doesn't give you the smooth finish of painting directly in the mold. You'll need a variety of candy melts for your galaxies. To get some color inspiration, go ahead and do a Google image search of different galaxies. Real telescope images will display beautiful colors including blues, oranges, pinks, and reds, which are light emissions from stars and glowing gases from within the galaxies. I chose light purple, light blue, dark blue, and black. I'm also using white to highlight the spirals within the galaxy and use it as an adhesive for my sprinkles. You'll also need a cake pop mixture, which is just, in this case, um, chocolate cake with a little bit of vanilla frosting that's been mixed in. Okay, so let's get started with our cakesicles. We're gonna start with the swirl design on the outside. So drop in some purple and some light blue and dark blue and make sure that you always end with black candy melts. Take a small paintbrush and move in a circular motion in one direction. It doesn't have to be perfect, but press down so that you're reaching the silicone surface. We want to see the swirls on the outside of the cakesicle, which are located at the bottom layer of everything that we're doing right now. Then take the mold and tap it on the surface, which will remove any air bubbles that you've introduced with the paintbrush. Next, drop in some more black candy melts and use either a spoon or brush to completely cover the interior of the mold. Try not to disturb the beautiful squirrel that you've just made. Make sure that you get up the sides and along the bottom where the popsicle sticks are inserted. Tap again to ensure a smooth coating. Don't worry if anything runs down the sides, we're gonna come back and give it a second coating. Now carefully insert your popsicle sticks. If you're working a little more slowly, do this after every time you coat the surface with the black candy melts to ensure they haven't hardened to the point where you can't insert the sticks anymore. A very important tip, you have to remember that much of the stability of the cake skull is dependent on where the stick meets the candy melt. I like to go back and ensure there is a thick candy coating at the base of the cakesicle. This will help in removal of the cakesicle from the silicone mold as well as keeping it on the stick while the person is eating it. To ensure that the popsicle sticks dry completely straight, I like to weigh them down. Here I'm just using a pack of fondant. Place these lovelies in your freezer for about five minutes. You want them to be super firm for the next step. Once the cakesicles first layer are hard and cold from the freezer, it's now time to reinforce the sides and corners. Take some more black candy melts and give the edges a second coating, making sure there are no gaps. It should harden immediately since your mold is very cold. Now take your cake pop mixture and drop it into the mold. I like to tuck it underneath the sticks first and then work my way to the top. I also don't like my cakesicles too dense, so I tend to do this with a very light hand. Leave a small gap at the top layer so you can apply more candy melts to seal the cakesicle. Now take those black candy melts and pour it onto the top of the mold, allowing the melts to flood the surface. Tap the mold to allow the melts to settle over the cake filling and then use an offset spatula or butter knife and smooth the surface in one swipe. Repeat with your remaining cakesicles. Allow this to harden completely by letting it sit in the freezer for at least five minutes. Remove your cakesicles by inverting the mold and carefully jiggling the stick.
Use a knife to clean up the edges of your cakesicles. With a paintbrush, paint a swirl using some white candy melts. Then drop on some glittery or star-shaped sprinkles. And here are your galaxy cakesicles. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.